Hey all, today we're going to be talking about the Martin Mac Aura, both the classic version and the XB, as they're more or less identical. The two tools you need for the majority of repairs on this light are a T20 and a T10 Torx screwdriver. If you can find a T20 with a narrow shaft, about the diameter of the bit, that will be helpful. The rear head cover is held on with four thread forming screws. You'll need to remove this part first. The two yoke arm covers are each held on with four machine screws, one at each corner, and two thread forming screws on the right hand side of the yoke towards the inside. Don't mix these screws up when reassembling. Once you've removed all of the screws, the yoke arm covers are free to move. You'll need to rotate the head to take them both off, as the front head cover will prevent you from removing the one on that side. Be careful with the light once you've taken the rear head cover off. If you set it down wrong, you can snap the tactile switches right off. As you can see, this fixture doesn't appear to power on. The fixture has an 88 volt and a 24 volt rail, both plugged into headers on the opposite side of the fan from the screen. The LEDs are powered by the 88 volt rail, and the electronics and motors are on the 24 volt rail. You can't see the meter here, but I'm reading zero volts on both headers. I disconnect them both from the board to rule out a dead short as the cause. The next place to check would be the power supply, which takes up the entire base of the light. There are four thread forming screws that hold the two covers on. Take those out and then both covers sort of lever up from the outside to snap apart. The XB has a fan connected to one of the base covers, so don't yank them off too hard. Here I'm looking for the fuse. In the classic aura it was in a bayonet style fuse holder sticking straight up from the board. In the XB it's nestled under the true one connectors. I found it after I stopped recording and it tests fine, so I'll have to dig a little deeper to figure out what's going on with this light. Thanks for joining me for the disassembly of this fixture. 